Morning everyone. Now today's TikTok is going to be about a very serious topic. Um, I've headed it as follows. Um, explosive evidence of mortgage fraud, theft and perjury by vulture funds, land registry courts and banks in Ireland. Matty McGrath TD demands immediate action by the Irish government and other parties. So, I mean, the reality in Ireland today is that there are a huge amount of people who are in financial difficulties with banks. Um, this, is, this is not an accident, you know, this is the way that society is set up today, you know, um, overly materialistic, <clears throat> making us believe that stuff can make us happy. Um, anyway... The biggest, I suppose, the biggest area of debt is, is most likely to be mortgages. And um, in the last number of years, there's been a huge influx into Ireland of multinational, huge corporations who are now often commonly known here in Ireland as vulture funds. So if you are in financial hardship and, you know, can pay your mortgage, you know, for a myriad of different reasons, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I myself have been in repossession court and it's full of people like you and like me who have been mistreated, manhandled and often often cheated and lied to by all those they trusted to help them to hold on to their family's home. The Irish especially seem to be ashamed to look for help and you know We've got this inferiority complex where we believe it's always our fault if we get into trouble with our mortgage. But it happens every day. And we really need to blow the lid on this. Because in many situations, it turns out that with these vulture funds, you don't even have a mortgage. You know, but this 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 attitude, this this, you know, shame that we have has led to a quagmire of corruption because they're playing on our insecurities um, and this is what Deputy Matty McGrath spoke about and made a press release about last week as on the 26th and 27th of October I think it was Matty McGrath TD issued a press release sent by the Economic Policy and Communication Advisor of the Rural Independent Group of TDs here in Ireland so since then, I have emailed Matty um, on his publicly available Eroctus email address. But to date, um, I have not had a response. But I mean, I would be pretty sure that he's currently inundated with calls and emails about his explosive and shocking revelations of last week. So, I subsequent to this, I also um, forwarded the information on to Deputy Michael Healy Ray, as he is my elected representative here in my constituency of North Kerry. Now, Michael, as far as I believe, is also a member of the Rural Independent Group of TDs who issued this press statement. Again, no response from Michael yet. So I will keep you all updated on what happens there. Um, as I said, we need a light shone on this scandal here in Kerry very badly. As what I saw and heard during my time in repossession court was as bad, if not worse, than the rest of the country. Also, I believe that Michael should be pretty knowledgeable in this area of conveying seeing law and dealing with financial institutions. Due to what I hear is his own quite substantial property portfolio. So I'm sure he is very capable as a, and as a man of the people and their elected representative, he sh should definitely want to help his voters to fight the vulture funds and help so many distressed families in Kerry and throughout the country to stay in their family homes. Anyway, I have offered help in this endeavour. If they want it, <laughs> we will just have to wait and see what happens. In the meantime, let's look at Matty McGrath's press release and what it said and what does it actually mean for distressed mortgage holders 
who are definitely in need of help and support. So Mashi's press release is headed Explosive allegations of systematic fraud unearthed in land registry and courts. Mashi continues by saying that these allegations include perjury, misrepresentation and a conspiracy to defraud Irish citizens of their homes, farms and properties. And these claims are surmounted from a series of comprehensive documents prepared by Edmund Honahan, who was master of the High Court prior, during and subsequent to a relevant court case to these revelations, um, which concluded in March 2022, as far as I can, you know, see also, Mashi states that he has himself already reached out to all TDs and senators in this country, highlighting the seriousness of the issues to hand. The Master of the High Court, Edmund Honahan, is an undisputed expert in this field and I, I believe a man of integrity. Also, he was known before his retirement, I have been told, to be a very courteous and helpful to distressed family homeowners who came before him as lay litigants in the High Court because many, many um, people in this country who want to fight to keep their family home and who want to expose the lies and the corruption, um, they can find solicitors to help in this endeavour. And a large number of them do have to go into the courts as lay litigants. The press release goes on to state that Edmund Honahan has indicated that the courts are consistently deceived by the presentation of land registry folios with misleading mor mortgage ownership information, falsely presented as conclusive evidence. The information revealed suggests that the entities known as credit services, which we know as vulture funds, may not actually possess ownership of the mortgages despite being registered as such in the land registry, which is now known as TALTA. This fraudulent practice raises significant concerns affecting tens and thousands of distressed borrowers, including those with business properties, farms and family homes. Meshi McGuire also demanded an immediate halt to this practice, and I again quote from the press release, in response to these concerning findings, I am calling on members of the Eurotus to unite across party lines and strongly urge the Minister for Justice and the Minister for Finance to promptly address the ongoing criminal acts. I am also demanding an immediate halt to this activity, pending a comprehensive investigation by the various arms of the state, including the Gardaí, the Corporate Enforcement Authority, the Land Registry and the Eroctus Giant Committee on Finance. I cannot emphasise the urgency of this situation enough and I appeal to my colleagues in the Eroctus to give this critical matter their immediate attention, concluded Deputy McGrath. So, that was last Thursday and Friday, just before the long weekend when everyone was going off on their holidays, well, those of us that can, not me. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, but correct me if I am wrong, uh, Gripped Media and the Irish Inquiry each wrote an article based on this press release uh, and copies of some of the documents involved uh, were shared on social media. After that, what else have we heard about this since? Yeah. Crickets. <laughs> Nothing. As to date, I have seen no other media coverage of this or no uproar in the doll regarding what is being described as explosive findings, which potentially could impact hundreds of thousands of tax-paying Irish citizens who in these times are absolutely struggling to stay in their family homes. So where is the outrage from the government? Where is the outrage from RTE, the radio stations, and the opposition in the Dáil, and the independent TDs? Where? Excuse me. 
okay Irish people are you know on a regular basis committing suicide and are in deep distress and you know usually depressed because they can't live with what they think is their debt that they think they owe a vulture fund and the reality is for many of them their homes are it is alleged being stolen from them with the full knowledge of many solicitors the banks the vulture funds the courts and now it seems so far most of our public representatives i mean i know um, many people think that they're just waiting for mary lou and Sinn fein to ride into town soon and save them wrong i am afraid as where is the outrage now for all these people and if they don't speak up now they're just another farce in my opinion i leave it there for today guys talk to you all again soon bye